Hi, so today I would like to talk about religious mysteriosophical syncretism. Now, sometimes people that are researching certain traditions of the ancients are accused of chaoticizing it. They are called chaos magicians. They are mixing everything with everything without knowledge of the in-depth tradition itself. Now, in the ancient times, it was nothing new that people traveled in order to be initiated into mystery cults, into mystagogical cults. So, it was often wise so that people held initiations from multiple mysteries, and they held functions in multiple mysteries. It was not an exclusive religion. The initiatory cults could be combined. So, is it nowadays neo-paganism? Well, neo-paganism is a sort of a reconstruction of those mysteries, because we cannot be back then to live through them. However, I believe that there is something that may initiate you into those mysteries, namely gods and goddesses, divinities, masters and master mistresses of times past, treated as Mm, well, in Buddhism, it is, it will be called uh, downloading something from the clouds, like in shamatha traditions. I'm using the cloud computing idea because I want to demonstrate something that the mysteries are not completely forgotten, and although the initiatory chains are broken on earth, the initiatory chains are existing in the spiritual, in the soul level of beings, whether the intelligences of the planetary spheres, whether those who traveled with their souls to the stars. And from then, once you catch the golden thread, you may gather initiations and you may understand them. But first things first, you need to study to meet the gods halfway. If you study the ancient mysteries, and if you become a practitioner of them, you will receive the proper teachings that will guide you forward in your spiritual journeys and in your development. So, ignoring all the Judeo-Christian detritus, I managed to focus simply and strictly on ancient mysteries, mainly from the Mediterranean region, because I found them most civilized, and in fact, I was able to experience and become initiated into those mysteries. So, let us remember that in-depth study, classical study, classical philology, literature, source text, first things first, we need the basis of our etology, of knowledge, and then we practice it, and we engage with the gods, with the spirits, and we receive the teachings, we receive the initiations proper to our preparation for reception. We are as living vehicles or temples that are ready to receive such sacraments. In original, a sacrament was a consecration of the intellect, of the spirit, with the mysteries, an imprint that consecrates. So whether we have the... This, these are some excerpts from a book that I was supposed to write, but it will never emerge, about... Uh, epistolography between uh, Saturnian and Lavincia. Lavincia is an Illyrian name from uh, Dalmatia and uh, Salona in this case. So uh, the Andanian mysteries, uh, the Andanian mysteries of Artemis. It is uh, quite amusing that as a 17 year old I worked in Greece as a waiter and I was residing in a place close to Taigetos mountains where the Andanian mysteries actually happened. Mystery, the Orphic mysteries, uh, they're there. So I'm not revealing all the information here because it was covered in previous lectures on Orphism. I will continue with all the gathered knowledge that I have amassed for years and publish further lectures. This is just a for the purpose of demonstration, the mysteries of Atis and Kebele or Magna Mater the Haran mysteries or the Sabian mysteries, the mysteries of Hecate or Hecate Artemis in various aspects of Isis Pelagia, the Isis of the Seas, 
because gods were aspected by many names and uh, depending on their historicity and modes of worship they were aspected uh, by different perspectives in the eyes of the beholder that worshipped them whether Samotrasian Kabere mysteries, Sabazian mysteries or the Thracian mysteries Salian mysteries, the, those of the dancers of Mars in Rome the Chaldean mysteries, Neoplatonic mysteries, Mithraic mysteries Eleusinian mysteries, Dionysian mysteries, Heliopolitan of the Noma of Heliopolis, Serapaic mysteries, Zarathustrian mysteries from Zarathustra of uh, Bactria, Zoroaster, or the Zoroaster means the one endowed uh, with possessing a greater wisdom of the higher spiritual thought. In fact, uh, Ostra. Oster in Avesta, in Avesta means a camel, and a camel was considered a lucky animal in these regions. Pythagorean mysteries and the reframing of them in the theology of arithmetic by Jamblichus, Nabatean mysteries of Dushara, for example, and the temple of the winged lions, Parmenidian mysteries because his journey to Knox and doxology and all the ideas about Arche are great mysteries, the Bacchic mysteries, the Amenta mysteries of Egypt, the mysteries of Seth, yes they are so, whether those of Egyptian Seth or Gnostic Sethians and Ophites, the Dracon mysteries, Dracontes, the snake and serpent mysteries, the Babylonian mysteries, the mysteries of Chem which are aplenty depending on the Noma, and then the alchemy mysteries or the mysteries of the land of Chem or the black land of Egypt that were later transformed into spiritual alchemy and experiments in chemistry, very simple and vulgar chemistry at first. The Herculean mysteries. Hercules was an initiate of Eleusis and yes, he launched his own mysteries after becoming a living demigod. Mysteries of Isis, the great Isis, unveiled, perhaps. And then we may combine it also with the Eastern mysteries of Shiva Paramsavati, Aram Mysterium Abarabica, uh, the mysteries of Bon or the early shamanism, Vajra Yoga, Hod of Mahitaptron, Haktog, the inner secret teachings of Chan Buddhism, Shinto, the Hindi Trimurti causalities, and so on and so on. These are just notes. And I would like to highly advise you to, if you, are, if you want to be a versatile magician, and if you want to respect all the traditions, research them, study them in depth, meet the gods halfway, and I wish you every response. It doesn't mean that you have to be worshipping absolutely everything. Gods are everywhere. And you may find a response by simply paving your way through, by piercing through the veils and finding all the answers you need. And once you find them, you will find all the answers to your questions to be found by yourself. Gnoti se auton. Know thyself. Everything in moderation, nothing in excess. The E at Delphi or the Epsilon at Delphi meant that to find the divinities you need to find the God within. Read Plutarch, Moralia, or on the E at Delphi. Thank you.